In this question, we are asked to express the number 56 as a product of its prime factors. And there are three key words in this question that we need to know about. Firstly, the word product. And the word product simply means the result of the multiplication between two numbers. Next, we have the word prime. And a prime number is a number which only has two factors, one and itself. And lastly, we have the word factor. And a factor is a number which when multiplied with another number, produces a given number. Now to express 56 as a product of its prime factors, we need to create a factor tree. So we'll start with 56 at the very top. And the first thing that we need to do is to find two numbers which can be multiplied to, pr to produce 56. 56 is a multiple of two, so the easiest thing to do is to just half it. So 56 can be expressed as two multiplied by 28. Now in a factor tree, we're trying to break a number down into a product of its prime factors. So as soon as we see a prime number, we know that that number cannot be broken down any further. Now two is a prime number because its only factors are one and itself. So we can circle two because we know that it can't be broken down any further. Now we're left with 28. 28 isn't a prime number because it can be broken down further. So let's break 28 up into seven and four. So now if we look at 7 and 4, we know that 7 is a prime number, so we can circle that. But 4 is not a prime number because it can be broken down even further. So we can split 4 up now into 2 and 2. We know from before that 2 is a prime number, so we can circle both of these. So now that, we can, now that we've completed our factor tree, we can, we can express 56 as a product of its prime factors. So we now know that 56 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 7, which is the same as saying 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 7. So for our answer then, we can say that 56 equals 2 to the power of 3 times 7.